G'day everyone. About two months ago, Noel's Retro Lab made a video about basic performance and games on the TI-994A. And this got me to thinking about benchmarking basic on MS-DOS computers. Now obviously it's a little bit unfair to compare the basics on IBM PCs with those of old 8-bit ones. So I went about making some benchmarks of my own to more thoroughly test the different aspects of performance with the different basic interpreters and compilers. There are four interpreters and two compilers that we'll be testing today. The first one is GW Basic and it's the oldest one. The second one is QBasic and it is the interpreter that came with MS-DOS 5 and above. The third one is QuickBasic and is the more professional compiler suite that also included an interpreter for you to test your programs. And the last one will be PC Basic, the only one that runs on modern hardware. For all the tests, the MS-DOS interpreters will be run on a 386 microbyte machine running at 20 MHz. The only one that is left out of this is the PC Basic, which will be running on my modern Ryzen 2600 machine. Basic was quite a popular language in the days of MS-DOS, so there are quite a few compilers to test as well, and I've selected two that I could manage to get working on my microbyte machine. The first one is the Microsoft Quick Basic compiler. It's basically the compiled version of the interpreter that I'm using in the other part. The other compiler I'm using is PowerBasic. It was made by Borland back in the 90s, uh, and is one I don't actually have much experience with, but I thought might be fun to try. Luckily for me, all these different dialects of BASIC are actually pretty much compatible, right down to the graphics modes that they have available to them. So this means I can use the same code on all of the compilers and interpreters, and expect to get fair results. So now to the tests. I've written three different tests to test different aspects of the compilers and interpreters. The first one is the Sieve of Aristines. This is a way of finding prime numbers using a large array and basically a little bit of integer math. This should give us a good idea of the basic interpreter speed or compiler speed doing the quickest and fastest math possible. The second test that I've made is a rendering of the Mandelbrot fractal. This one uses floating point math and a little bit of graphics to render to the screen. So it should mostly test out the floating point performance of all the interpreters and compilers. The last test is a simple graphical test and is broken up into three parts where I draw a bunch of lines, circles, and fill the screen with the put command in XOR mode. For these tests, I've selected graphic mode seven, which is EGA 16 colors, 320 by 200. The reason I've selected this mode is that all the interpreters and compilers support it, and it should give us an idea of how well it would have performed with basic graphical tasks. Let's start taking a look at the results. This first graph is for all of the interpreters, showing the total amount of time and the relative amount of time for each individual benchmark. You can see from this graph that the Mandelbrot fractal is what took the most time in all of the tests, and as such it dominates the results. GW Basic is the slowest one out of the bunch here. For the Mandelbrot test, it takes about 7600 seconds, whereas the QBasic interpreter takes 5500, and the Quick Basic one takes about 4700. The QBasic one being roughly about 30% faster, and Quick Basic about 40% faster. GW Basic actually did fairly well for the Mandelbrot test comparative to the others, whereas the C for Verastenes. QBasic was about five times faster, and QuickBasic was about 20 times faster. So it's lagging quite behind in terms of interpreter speed. 
PC Basic is an interesting outlier in these two tests. For the Mandelbrot test, PC Basic took about 3000 seconds, which was significantly faster than any of the other interpreters. But I assume this is because it's basically running on modern hardware and has the advantage of being able to compute floating point much, much faster. But on the other hand, for the sieve of Erastines, it was significantly slower than both the QBASIC and QuickBASIC interpreters. I'm not entirely sure why that should be the case, but it's quite interesting that it would be significantly faster for one and slower for the other. For the graphic tests, I made another graph here to make it a bit more clearer what the results were. You can see that GW Basic is again the loser, being pretty much the slowest in everything except for drawing lines, with QBASIC and QuickBASIC both being significantly faster. The most surprising result here is really how slow PC Basic is at both drawing lines and circles. Being an interpreter running on modern hardware, you would expect it to be able to draw significantly faster than any of the interpreters running on an old DOS machine. But it seems that it's really slow at drawing circles and lines, but is significantly faster at putting images to the screen. My theory for why this might be is because both drawing lines and circles require some computation, and PC Basic is implemented in Python, so it would have to go through a lot more interpretive work just to draw a circle or a line, whereas copying an image would be simply a library call. Looking at the results in a holistic view, I sort of feel like GW Basic has been let down by its slow interpreter and that its ability to draw line circles and putting images is probably roughly equal to QBASIC and QuickBASIC. It's just that the interpreter can't manage to get through the other code fast enough to draw or compute at the same speed. The reason I think this is because the results for QBASIC and QuickBASIC for the sieve of Erastines are significantly faster than the results for drawing the Mandelbrot and the line circle or put time for the same interpreters compared to GW Basic. So whilst the interpreters themselves are significantly faster, some of the tasks that they end up doing, such as drawing to the screen, are not typically faster than those done by GW Basic. Okay, I think it's now an appropriate time to take a look at how the compilers compare in comparison. This chart here shows the sieve of Erastines results for both all of the interpreters and the two compilers. The compilers are the two on the right, QuickBasic and PowerBasic. You may notice that I've got QuickBasic twice here. The one on the left is using it as an interpreter and the one on the right is compiling the code and running that from DOS. It should come as no surprise to anyone that the compilers are significantly faster than all the interpreters although the PowerBasic compiled code seems to be almost as slow as the QuickBasic interpreter, which is a little bit interesting. But then again, the QuickBasic interpreter is quite fast. Moving to the more general results, we can see that QuickBasic compiled code is faster than PowerBasic compiled code in general, although from the thickness of the bars, you can see that there is some nuance to be had in the graphical tests. So let's move on to that graph. QuickBasic is significantly faster at drawing lines, slower at drawing circles, and only slightly slower at using the put command. I think most of the difference here comes from PowerBasic having a different graphics library. It seems that the PowerBasic graphics library is not very good at drawing lines, to the point where it's even slower than the QuickBasic and QBASIC interpreters, but it is good at drawing circles, where it can outpace even the QuickBasic compiler. At doing puts, it is faster than all of the DOS-based compilers and interpreters, but it doesn't keep up with PC Basic, which is incredibly fast at drawing to the screen with the put command. So that was my look at benchmarking the basic language on the IBM PC and MS-DOS computers. I think in some ways I bit off a little bit more that I can chew, because it took quite a long time to get through all of the testing and it took me quite a long time to put together the results and make the audio. 
it did confirm what I had suspected for a very long time, that GW Basic is significantly slower than the other interpreters and compilers available for MS-DOS. It also showed that the quality of the Microsoft interpreters and compilers was extremely good, especially the Quick Basic one. We also got to learn how PC Basic fared compared to running Basic on an old MS-DOS computer. It turns out that PC Basic is significantly faster when it comes to raw interpreter speed, and generally slower when it comes to drawing lines and circles. I hope you enjoyed today's video about benchmarking basic interpreters and compilers. I've got some more content in the pipeline which hopefully should take less time to make, so hopefully the next video will come out much sooner. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.